I'm Michael Nadalin from Market Lead, and today's video is about the two ways to fix any Google Ads account. Now, these two ways will work with each other or individually. I've written them down in my notes just so if I'm looking down here, you know I'm looking at the notes just to give you some premium content. So the two things you can either do is clean up or restructure. Now you can clean up and then restructure, or you can restructure then clean up, or do them individually. Now, the reason why this is important is clean up is probably the thing I look at the most with a lot of clients, is when I'm auditing account, there's just like a lot of rubbish in the account. Bad keywords, bad setting, bad quality ads, just everything that's just like rubbish. And once you clean out all this trash or rubbish or junk traffic, you inevitably end up with high quality traffic. Now, the other part is the restructuring. Now the restructuring means you can actually like start fresh and once you have a good structure, everything will build off that. So there are clients when you just need to do cleanups and it's already set up in a way, it might be too hard or take too long to restructure it. So what you can just do is just dive in deep into the negative keyword list, the settings, the ads, and just clean it up aggressively. Just clean out all the rubbish and just start there. A lot of clients I work with end up me just being restructuring because any account I look at tends to have bad structure. And when it's got poor or bad structure, the results will come from it. It's just like a house with like bad like floorboards or a house with like bad foundations. It's just gonna fall in on itself. So it's better just to destroy it and start again. Now, a lot of accounts have a lot of data in it that you might be scared or risking that you're gonna lose. But when you do have that, you can actually just use that to build off. Like it's not that you're so attached to the data being in certain campaigns. If there is good data in there, you can port it over. And if it, you've got a lot of data or a lot of conversion data that you're using like uh, target CPA or any sort of maximized conversion or any sort of like outcome-based goal, you can risk losing that. But it's better to start fresh with like high quality keywords, ad sets, uh, even on the shopping front, it doesn't even have to be on that. You can actually just restructure it from there. The reason I say that is because it's easy to manage. And once it's easy to manage, it's easy to actually optimize towards and then you're more likely to optimize it. A lot of accounts that I look at that are kind of like a bit like the structure is really bad. It doesn't inspire you to actually do anything. You just feel like you're trying to fix something that's broken rather than building something new. So I really recommend with a lot of clients, well, the work I do with them is restructure accounts. Just spend the time. It doesn't take that long. It might take you half an hour, an hour and a half or two hours. But once you've done it, you at least have the confidence that the foundations are set up. So then when you are optimizing, you're optimizing knowing that this is aligned with best practice. Now, if you've set this up yourself, it's probably not good because you're probably trying to fix something or do restructure on your own work. But if you're picking the work up from someone else or you're a marketing manager, or you just feel like something's not working, a restructure fits. Sometimes, and this is beyond why, why it happens, is a restructure just fixes accounts. You might do have the same keywords, the same bits, everything the same, but then once you restructure it, you get better results. Now, I'm starting to think because beyond just the, uh, the bids, and the ads and the keywords, Google has such a broad amount of data that filters in that if you've got such a tight, really high quality range of keywords and ads that you're kind of filling this machine or this AI with a lot of valuable data. So it's easier for them to ping out and find other relevant high intent people as well. Because Google's goal at the end of the day is to get you your results. The goal is also to make you spend a lot of money, but the goal is to get you results at an amount that makes you keep reinvesting in them. So I tend to like to re, uh, restructure accounts and rebuild them, but it's sometimes if I pick up an account, or even if it's my own account, I'll start just doing a rapid cleanup. Now, when I start accounts, I'm really aggressive on negative keyword lists more than anything, because I know, I trust that I've set up the right settings, the right ads, but the keywords are the, like the gold or the trash. Now this is on the search side, the e-commerce side might be a bit different, but it's kind of similar. But on the search side, you really want to make sure you've got high intent traffic coming in. But also, you're going to be getting a lot of fringe traffic there that's just not as good. So you just want to be culling that off fast. So let's just say you get 100 clicks each day. If 20 of them are trash, you want to be cutting off that 20. So the next day, that once you get that 100 new, you're not spending any more money on that trash traffic again. So this is a quick video. It's four and a half minutes. Having a look at my notes. So clean up. It's just search terms and negative keyword list and your settings, and in terms of restructuring, you just start with what works. Just go for the keywords that work, go for the, uh, the shopping or the products that work, and then build off there, because once you're building off success, it's so much easier to leverage it, because Google's AI, and even your own confidence, will have more ability to leverage what's working to get further results.